Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, this is Pastor Daniel from India, Kolkata. And, and I am really uh, grateful for my beloved pastor, Pastor Albert White, for this uh, wonderful uh, opportunity that he has given us to, to come on, on this manner. Thank you, uh, Pastor Albert White. And really, the Water Pro Ministry is doing a great and a wonderful work. Every day, every day I, I watch, every day I watch, uh, the many men of God are coming and preaching. And though I don't understand the Pacific, some languages, but, but I know what they're preaching. They're preaching about God. They're preaching about the salvation and it is a wonderful experience thank you thank you very much today i want to share about uh, some thoughts from the bible as we can see the book of joel chapter 2 verse 25 to 27 and the bible says here it is i'm just reading and i will compense compensate you for the years the locust have eaten, the larval locust, the hooper locust, and the fledging locust, my great army which I sent against you, you will eat abundantly and be satisfied, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God, who has worked wonders for you, and my people will never again be shamed then you will know that I am in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and that there is no other, and my people will never again be shamed. As Bible says here, my, today's my topic is to devastation to restoration and the restoration to the celebration. If you see the Bible here, and I will, I will, but what Bible says, I will restore, I will restore. That is, if no pain, no game, we say always. So this generation, if you see this generation people, many of them, they do not know about the pain, the anxiety. Many, many of our forefathers, they, they let this gospel they preach this gospel to many many people and they blessed you know as bible says here it is written if you see the book of genesis chapter chapter 50 verse 20 the book of genesis chapter 50 verse 20 here bible is saying but as for you you intended to harm me, but God intended for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many lives. Here, Joseph is saying to his brothers, you intended, you wanted to do harm, but God, God's intended, God's intention was to do something supernatural in my life. You know, when Joseph, when Joseph went to his brothers and give food, but they, the brothers, they already plotted against him and they wanted to kill him. They want to finish his life and, and almost they have done, almost they have done. And they thought we will never see Joseph in, in our life because he is no more. But see how it has happened. The devastation it was in, in Joseph's life when his brothers, they wanted to kill him. But what was the restoration? When God helped him, Joseph, when he, when he became the prime minister, the celebration already was done. What I'm trying to tell you, you know, we need to hang out 
We need to obey what God is saying. We need to have a confidence what God is saying. Sometimes, myself also, and I want to tell about myself, there are so many promises from God. God speaks so many things. God wants to do this, God wants to do that. There are so many promises. But still, when we do not see the things at the sa same time, when I am I'm struggling with that, I feel discouragement. I feel I am alone. But what Bible says, you know, Joseph said, maybe the world wants to do harm. Maybe the world wants to put you down, but God will lift you up. God will exalt your name. No matter people love you or not, no matter people will care for you or not, no matter people are, are concerned about you or not, but our God is concerned about you. Our God is caring God. He cares for his people. He loves his people. You know, our God knows how to protect his people. You know, now uh, if you see uh, in India, every day, every day, we are getting 90 to 95,000 COVID cases every day. And we just crossed 7 million cases in India. And it is very worst condition nowadays. But we are just getting some relaxation in the lockdown. It is lifting up now. Because, you know, the economic crisis the government is facing, the economic crisis India is facing. But I believe in this devastation, God will restore our life. God will do some marvelous work. God will do some supernatural work in our life. Because Bible says, when, when we see the life of Joseph, he didn't, he didn't intend to do anything for his brother, but God intended to do good for Joseph. Amen. No matter if enemy, if Satan is against you, no matter the devil is against you, no matter the devil wants to put you down, but God is with you. When you see, and I will, I will restore you from the years the locusts have eaten. I will restore you. If the locust has destroyed your paddy field, if the locust has destroyed your field, God is saying, God is promising us that I will restore. Hallelujah. If you see Bible here, that the day of darkness and gloom, if you see uh, Zoel 1, 2 says, the devastation you never heard and saw in your life. You'll see one, Zoel 1 and 2, it is written here. Hear this, elders, and give ear, all inhabitants of the land. Has anything like this happened in your days or in the days of your father? Have we ever seen this kind of days, this, this the COVID and all those things? We are locked down for many, many months. We have never seen this kind of things. Those who are, have money, they are not able to travel. Those who are, have money, they are not able to go, go and, and, and have the facilities in their hotels and the five-star hotels and all those things, those luxurious items, they are not able to avail where they are. They are in their home. They are sitting with their family. What Bible says, Zoel 1, 2 says, Have we ever seen our, our forefather? I asked my 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 maternal family's grandfather i asked did you ever see this kind of days he said i have never seen i have never seen this kind of days in my life he's he's 80 plus but what bible says we are seeing we are seeing these days that means god wants to restore our life god wants to do something a great work in our life. Joel 2, 12 says, Yet even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. This is the time that we need to return to the throne of God. This is the time that we should return to our God with fasting and mourning. We need to repent if we have done anything against God, if we have disobeyed God, if we have not fulfill what God has commanded us 
let us come back to the throne of God and repent from heart and say, yes, God, I want to come back again in your presence. If we come back in the presence of God, Bible says, Joel 2, 25 to 27, if you see, he says, I will restore you. I will restore. 26 says, you will eat abundantly and be satisfied and you will praise the name of the Lord your God who has worked wonders for you and my people will never again be saved. God will never put you shame. He will never put you shame. We are going to praise him. We are going to glorify his name from the devastation to restoration and the moment we will repent, we will get from the restoration to the celebration because God is our wonderful God because Romans 8 28 says we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose we called by God we called by God whatever happening in this world and I believe God has a greater purpose in our life God has a greater purpose in, in our life. In this lockdown time, in our church, around 70 to 75 new people added in our church. There are so many gospel has been preached. We are not able to call them to the church because of the, the restriction that go government has given. We are not able to help them to come to the church, but they are connected with our believers. They are connected with our people. Because the gospel should not stop. The, the gospel should not stop. No matter what bad circumstances is or will be. No matter how bad, how dark place may be. May, no matter what, whatever problem we, we, we face. If we do not have food, if we do not have water, that doesn't mean gospel will stop gospel has to preach because it is the commandment of God. In India, we have a lot of challenges. In India, we have a lot of challenges, but still we want to faithful in God. We, we want to follow because as Bible says, whatever God does is good for us who fear him. God wants to restore whatever we have lost. If we have lost money, God will restore. If we have lost our, our business, God will restore. If we, if we have lost our jobs, God will restore. You know, uh, three days or four days back, the government has issued a data that around more than 25 million people, they have lost their job in India. It is a huge number. It is a huge number. Many, many small-scale business shut down because of the problem with Chinese and Indian are having nowadays. There are a lot of challenges, but I believe God will restore. God will restore. God will restore your people, his people. He, he knows, he knows how to restore because he's in control. That's why Bible says, he says, then you will know that I am in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and that there is no other and my people will never again be saved. God will never put us shame. God will always, always help his people. No matter, no matter how we are, he doesn't see our condition, but he sees our heart. God wants to turn our devastation to restoration. And from the restoration, he wants to bring celebration. Hallelujah. As God helped David from the hand of Saul, God will help you. As God helped Joseph from many hands, the merchandise, they took, they took uh, uh, Joseph and where they have put, they put in the prison. In that prison also, he was thinking about God. Maybe some other prisoners, they, they were thinking, oh, our life is going to be end here. 
now there is no hope but in that prison in that jail jo joseph knew what god has promised him remain in god's calling remain what god has called you if if anything is happening that is good for us for me and for you god wants to change everything from devastation to restoration and from the restoration to celebration let let me pray for all of you those who are watching this this evening dear heavenly father i thank and praise god for this wonderful opportunity of oh god yes oh god you want to bless our life god you will never put a shame oh god yes we are afraid we are a human being oh god we are weak oh god we think what will happen because we do not know about the future oh god but you are the author of finisher of everything oh god you are the alpha and omega oh god god i pray you bless all of them who are watching this evening oh god oh god you touch them and bless them oh god oh god and i believe that you are going to restore everything oh god i believe oh god from this devastation from this devastation they will get the restoration oh god you are going to do a marvelous and a supernatural work oh god god if anyone is sick oh god touch and heal them oh god oh god if anybody is is having the problem in their business oh god restore them oh god bring them into the celebration oh god i pray for pastor albert oh god i pray for his dear wife oh god god you bless this uh, this people oh god really oh god they have a great heart for your people oh god god you bless them oh god and you have a very very specific calling for them oh god as they are ministering to many many people through this uh, through this uh, water flow ministry of oh god bless this ministry of oh god let this ministry should be blessing for many nation of oh god and be with them oh god thank you and praise you god i give all the glory and honor is belongs to you oh god in jesus and precious name i pray amen 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 Thank you uh, for watching. Thank you, uh, my dear pastor, Pastor Albert White, and your wife. Thank you very much for this uh, opportunity. Please continue to pray for India. Pray for my family. Pray for my church. We need your prayer. We need in your. We need your prayer. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all of you.